Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I preach at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. And I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we're in Jeremiah 52. We're going to finish up Jeremiah today. Um, we're in 52, so it's been a, a longer book and been in there for, for quite a while. Um, obviously about just about two months. Um, and so it's uh, been a good study. I've enjoyed it as we've gone through there. Uh, how many times God goes through and just gives warning to Israel, to Judah, um, to Jerusalem, and his warnings, of course, to, to other nations as we've gone through it. And so here we're kind of getting in the end of it. And, of course, um, Babylon actually going in and, and taking in, uh, killing a bunch of the children of Israel, uh, Judah, the kings. Uh, prince or i guess the king's sons and, and um and so that's where we're at here and uh just read with me here if you will uh verses 28 through 30 it says these are the people whom nebuchadnezzar carried away into exile in the seventh year 3023 jews in the 18th year uh, of Nebuchadnezzar, 832 persons from Jerusalem, and the 23rd year of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, carried into exile 745 Jewish people. There were 4,600 persons in all. And so as you take a look at this, a, re a reminder is what we've read through from the beginning of Jeremiah all the way up to this point is... God's told him this is going to happen, that those who fight against them will die. And so that's kind of, if you read the rest of chapter 52, that's what you're going to be reading about is a lot of people who had died, um, who had fled, had their eyes catched out. Um, again, the king had his sons killed in front of him and then had his eyes guys blinded. Um, so that was the last thing he saw. Um, but as you, you get to this point, you got to remember the 46 hundred people here is actually part of God's promise and part of his grace, his mercy, because he's saying there's going to be a remnant, right? And so there's some who stay there in Jerusalem. That's why it's able to bring out in the different years they go back and they take some more of the Jewish people, they go back and they take some more of the Jewish people. Um, and so you got some who are still dwelling in Jerusalem. And so you got some who stay, some who are taken captive, but they're alive which means Israel's still growing, Israel is still uh, there, Jerusalem will once more, of course, uh, reestablish itself, and so God is leaving a remnant. God is making sure that his people don't completely get cut off, and so that is part of God's grace and his mercy, and what he told them is, is if you don't fight, then you won't die, and we'll bring you back at one point, and so uh, you know, we read about that and we're like, how terrible, you know, that the first 3,000 and then another 800 and then another 700. And and so as we, we read through that, we get caught up, man, that's, that's terrible. But what we might forget is that that's actually part of God's mercy, God's grace, that they didn't die. It could have been worse. Their life could have been over and they could have just ended there. But God allowed them to continue to live, to have children, to have grandchildren, and then one day... He's going to bring them back. And so that's part of God's grace and mercy. That's one of the things we, we sometimes have a harder time seeing as we read parts of that. And, of course, as we go through our own lives and thinking about what good can come out of this situation and how is God still helping me. So let us keep our eyes open for those things and let us always be praying to God that, that our eyes and hearts can be open to it and that we're always faithful in His will. So... Tomorrow we're going to get into 1 Peter. We're going to go back to the New Testament for a little while and go to 1 Peter. So uh, if the Lord is willing, I'll talk to you later.